So Centaurus uh, workbench is a workbench, right? Virtually like what you do in experiments to put all the simulation together. Okay. So in Centaurus workbench, uh, usually what we can do is to copy a project from somewhere else to where you want and then modify it. But let's say you want to do it from scratch or modify the project you already, already have. And this is what you are going to do. So in this uh, training, I'm going to show you how to create a new project, how to add a new instance, and how to edit the files and add variables. So you will go to project, go to new, and then say new project. Okay. And now this is just like an Excel table. Again, you will right click on the object that you want to work on. For example, there's no tooth. I want to add a tooth. Naturally, you will say, okay, let me right click and then add, right? And then I can choose from here, tools. And then let's say I want to start with send structure editor. And I just say, okay. Again, you can see that now I have the structure editor here. Let me add one more tool, add, and then this time I say I want to add the SDYs. Okay, and say okay. And then I get the SDYs on the right. That is good, right? I need to save my file, save as my project. Mm. This is because now it's in the temporary directory. I just navigate up right, to this directory and say my first project. And it is going to save it. Now, how do I run this project? Uh, maybe you cannot see the project now, right? So I need to right click my root directory and refresh it. Here, right? And then I double click on this, then to make sure on the top I'm in this folder, right? So how can I run it? You can just click on the run man here and then it will run. Now you, you may say that doesn't make sense. We have not give any instruction or any command to the project yet, right? And indeed, this is what it's going to say. You say low file could be retrieved for pre-processing. Now this is a very important concept. In SWB, for each icon, you are going to submit a file called master file. Right. So how do I submit the master file? I'm going to right click this SDE and then say edit input file commands. Okay, and then a window will pop up. Okay, so I can try to use the command I know, right? For example, I say define x equal to one. So SD has its own language, which is called scheme, right? So with this, I just control S, I save it, right? And now I can close it, okay? So let me try again to run it. I double click this node, uh, this project, right? Uh, today there's some problem, uh, it is very slow, uh, but when it is done, then I can run, click the run map. Let me try one more time. Right? So what will happen? This time, it complain no input file found for SDYs. True, I have not given anything to SDYs yet, right? So I'm going to close it, right? And then let me edit the input file. Right? Then I think, Hey, actually, I don't want to do that. Who want to type the whole input file into here, right? Can I try to import from somewhere else, right? So this is something you can do. You can right click. You can go to properties and then input files and then say import. Then, it's going, then you can tell it where to copy a file. For example, I go up, right? And I know that um, I have this uh, transport models project and inside I have a bw file right and I just click on this I know that is the file I want and then you say okay. ok 
cancel. Okay. Now let's try one more time. If I right click, add the input command. You see, I populate it with all the uh, all the uh, with the file that I try to copy from. 